I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. The song I recommend to study today is called Comfortable. I think it could be a good one to study because it tells a story and it's also very slow and clear so you can easily hear the words. The song is a guy singing to his old girlfriend and remembering the time that they were together and comparing her to his new girlfriend who he doesn't like very much. He wants his old girlfriend back. Here are a few lines from the song that I quite like. She thinks I can't see the smile that she's faking and poses for pictures that aren't being taken. I loved you. Grey sweatpants. No makeup. So perfect. Kia ora. In Stick News today, Irish police have solved the mystery of the Polish person who committed 50 traffic offences but was never caught. Polish driver's licenses have these words printed on them. They mean driver's license. But some police officers in Ireland thought that was the license holder's name. Irish newspapers recently quoted from an internal police memo which said that a person called driver's license had clocked up 50 traffic offences. And that was Stick News for Friday the 20th of February. Kia ora. Uh, I'm from Australia originally, but I've been living in New Zealand for the last few years in Queenstown. Uh, this is my first, first visit, but I'll definitely, definitely be back for sure. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, usually in Queenstown in New Zealand at the Remarkables, Remarkable Ski Field, but it's nowhere as big as, nowhere near as big as this. It's a lot bigger. Uh, Niseko is a lot wider, lots of trees, there's no trees at Remarks, um, longer runs, definitely a lot more powder snow, way more than in New Zealand. About six or seven years, I think. Most of all of all of in Queenstown and then a few seasons I've been to Europe a couple of times to France and Austria and this is my first trip to Japan and I think I'll definitely be back. Uh, today's conditions uh, had some snow the last day but um, it's a little bit heavier than I expected but the snow's good, runs are fast, lights good, plenty of visibility which I think is a bit rare today. <laughs> so it's quite nice you can see you know see everything around but. It's good fun. It's always, always good fun. Today's word is artsy. Artsy and arty mean the same thing. Apparently arty is British and artsy is American. I've heard both in New Zealand. Adjective, informal, usually disapproving. Seeming or wanting to be very artistic or interested in the arts. For example, she hangs out with the arty types she met at drama school. You can also say arty farty or artsy fartsy. I think people use these words when they're talking about people who are interested in art in a pretentious way. Like the husband character from Lost in Translation, if you've seen that movie, who is pretty pretentious. This is from the song. Life of the party, and she swears that she's artsy, but you could distinguish miles from Coltrane. What fun does a monk have? None. Have those fires stopped yet? Yeah. Really? That's awful, isn't it? How did they start? Arson? What does that mean? Why would someone do that? In Australia? No, I think they're still going. Yeah, it's so sad. I think there are many fires and they started in different ways, but some of it was arson. It means that someone let them deliberately 
on purpose, so it wasn't an accident. I don't know, I guess there are many reasons, like maybe they have a disorder, like pyromania, or maybe it's revenge, or for insurance. Find an answer to, explanation for, or way of dealing with a problem or mystery. A. Internal. B. Memo. C. Offense. D. Quote. E. Solve. Solve. An illegal act. Offense. Repeat a passage or statement from. Quote. Connected with the inside of something. Internal. An official note from one person to another in the same organisation. Memo. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.